Welcome back, folks, to the Guild of Dungeoneering, and when last we left off... <laughs> Yar, matey. Welcome back to the Guild of Swashbuckly Adventury. Yo ho ho pieces. <laughs> you know, you could come on our adventure with us if you like. I mean, you'll get out of the guild, get to enjoy some lovely, crisp, mountain air, and you'll even get some ice cream. I mean, we're trying to steal it from the ice cream monks right now. Thanks for the offer, matey, but I'm just too sad. Too sad to go adventuring. I've never heard a pirate be too sad to go adventuring. And I'm going to quote the pirate's code here, page 22, article 5, that clearly states that when pirates are sad, they are obligated to go on adventures in Alpine mountains stealing ice cream from ice cream mugs. You're just making that up, matey. No, I'm not. Go on, look. I was actually checking this. All right, I'll have a look. You're actually right. I know I'm right. You actually looked in the pirate's code? I did. I knew I had to try and cheer you up somehow. Come on, let's go on an adventure. You don't need to do anything. You just watch if you like. I don't mind. As long as you're here having an adventure with us. All right, matey. I'll, I'll come along, but I, I can't promise that I'll be any use to you. That's all I ask. And so we're now going to go and try and deal with more ice cream monks. Because we need to set explosives. I've no idea why. Maybe so that we can steal ice cream. But either way, let's go. I think Jaina 7 will do quite well here. Admittedly, we are kind of at a disadvantage because we have less cards to start with. But I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. Hello, Ice Cream Monk. How are you? We're going to put you there, and we're going to put you there. The main reason being is that we can have two level 1 encounters in very, very quick succession, which is always good. At this point, I think this card is useful because the other card really won't be super effective. This card, however, will be super effective. The problem that they start just stealing your cards is really not that good. But I suppose we can just uh, kill the Ice Cream Monk before that becomes a problem. There we go. You may have stolen a card, but we have stolen your life. What do we have here? No good. That's not terrible. Tenacious is quite nice. In fact, we're going to take that. We can always discard that card with the, um, the there is no scoop if we need to. There we go. What do we have here? And speaking of that, here's a good way to discard that card. Admittedly, we now only have one card in our hand. But it's better than having no cards. And you can't steal any of our cards because we don't have any. The joke's on you, Ice Cream Monk. Oh, this is really not going that well, is it? All right, here we go. Time for some damage. And the fact that we have no hand means that the freeze mechanic... Aha! Now we have a hand. What do we have here? I think we'll keep that. There we go. Ah, you're going to steal one of my cards, which is not great as that's one of my few damaging cards. But we have plenty of other cards where that... Oh. Well, I suppose we're going to discard these zero cards we have in our hand. There we go. And you have perished. Brilliant! One more encounter dealt with. Hmm, a scarf? Not bad. A... Nope, that's no good. That is terrible. These are all bad. That I suppose is slightly better because of the Holy Seal ability, but we do lose Tenacia, so actually we're going to just take some gold. Yep, you want to try and stop us, but I'm afraid you can't. You can't because we are going to go this way and try and fight the Mix Master here. We weren't so successful last time, but I think this time will be far better. Ah, and it's that one right away, is it? That is a really good, um card, actually. That's really good. And I think the Kindle here works quite nicely. By all means, you can steal my stupidity card. Then again, we really want to um, make sure that we don't have you steal insight here. So at the moment, we're going to have to uh, keep the stupidity card. Actually, there is a use for stupidity cards right there. When people steal cards, they can steal that card, and that card really won't help them. But it doesn't matter because the Mixmaster is no more! Haha! <laughs> Level up. 
Ooh, that's a really good one. That's also a pretty good one, but we lose way of the scoop. And that's also pretty good, but I think a, uh, a piratey hat will certainly uh, serve us well. And one favor, that also serves us well. Hello, Mixmaster number two. What are you going to mix for us? Mix some doom? For yourself, that is. Haha. <laughs> ah, we'd rather use insight here, I think. What do we want to draw? Do we want to draw this? I suppose we do. There we go. Ah. Good time to discard a stupidity card, I think. A very good time to, uh, actually. Do I want to discard that? Do I want to? Because we haven't seen the, uh, actually, no. I want to keep that. I want to keep it because I want him to steal it. Or we may not, there we go. He's going to steal my stupidity card. Have fun with that. And we have won. You have two cards that steal. That's quite sneaky. Hmm. We have this one that's uh, pretty good. It also gives us retribution. That just gives us lots of stupidity cards. That we replace an armor card with tenacious. We get an armor card, we lose tenacious. This gives us some nice good things. You know what? I think it's time to get rid of tenacious and uh, get an armor card. Nope, nope, we were never your friend. I'm not sure why you thought that. Hmm, do we want to try, do we want to uh, fight rather? Not tripe. I hope ice cream doesn't have tripe in it. That would be terrible. The Keeper of the Cones, the Scooper Trooper, or the Monk Defender. Ooh, these are all nasty. That is a gunnery card. Oh dear, we do not want to fight a gunnery card here. Armed Monk and Frost. Monk and Frost, or... Ooh, gunnery is just really nasty. But I suppose this one has the least health, so we should try. Oh, we already have a uh, piece of gold there. Alright, let's see what we can do here. This is going to be very bad. Okay, that's not so bad. Way of a scoop here is certainly going to equalize out the um, fighting here, but I am a little wor- Oh! Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's not so bad. We're just going to use this here, but there is plus one physical attack next time, which is really not good. Oh, here it is. That is three damage. We have three damage, but he has three damage, and we're on two health, and he is on four. Ooh, we really want to not um, be dealt damage right now, but now we have absolutely no cards. The Scooper Troopers are... Aha! I was about to say, these Scooper Troopers are nasty. However, that is a good card. I like that card. Oh dear. If successful, it freezes your hand. Yeah, we just need to heal here. Or else we are actually just pretty much dead. We're not pretty much dead yet, but we need to be able to deal one point of damage when he deals no damage. Oh wow. That's a really nice card. And that's not a nice card. Fortunately, we can deal three points of damage, but still it's one health to two. And we deal we deal two points of damage here, but still... Ooh, that's not bad. But he has three health and we have one. I don't want that card. I want a better card. I want healing. Uh, hmm, that's one. That's one. No, I need to block this. I need to block this card, which is really bad because we we need some good cards. The fact that we have no card draw here. These are the... Oh, well, we are dead. Which is unfortunate, but the fact that we only had one... We had one less card at the start really didn't work to our benefit at all. Across the land from far and wide, they come to the guild and want to fight. Sad to see them sliced and diced. Not only once twice and thrice <laughs> you know what would be good against that though a ranger a ranger would be pretty good mainly because of the um the ability to uh, deal the uh, camouflage the sheer amount of one attack cards that there are that these monks have will be really really good to uh ah I see that there is no way for us to get over there. We 
we're going to have to head this way instead, but uh, the fact that they have a sheer amount of one attack cards, especially with lots of their um, steel mechanics, like there for instance unfortunately, which it pretty much is a, hey guess what, um, you're going to steal one of our cards. Most of our damage is one, like this, there you go, one damage stored up, and you're going to steal another one of my cards. But fortunately, we only need to deal one more point of damage to actually defeat you. That is not one point of damage. Also, we start with the Holy One card here, which is pretty good. Sea Camouflage is working brilliantly here. And we have one. Excellent. One level. What do we want here? Spyglass is rubbish. Earmuffs aren't bad. Dessert Spoon is actually really good, considering that we have Holy One. And that gives us wise. We want a dessert spoon here. Holy two is actually quite useful. All right, and down we go to uh, go here. We want this here, and we want this here, because we want more level one cards. The more level one cards we get, the more likely we are to be able to deal with all these uh, opponents. Also, camouflage, working to brilliant effect here. And uh, smite, also working to pretty nice effect here. One damage, not bad. And we can't block that, so we might as well uh, have the flame arrow work here. I thought you'd steal that one. I thought you would. However, Holy Seal works brilliantly. And I think we pretty much won. There we go. Another fight dealt with. That's a really good card. That is a worse version of that card. That is not good, and that is terrible. So, a, uh, a sash it is. Hello, are you going to chase me? That was kind of what I was hoping for. Hello? Aha! No stealing of my cards for you, sir! And I think we're just going to uh, slice here. Two damage for one damage. And, and the, um, the swift guard works good there. I'd say the um, shift guard, but either works. Eh, ah, what do we have here? This will pretty much kill you. There we go. Another successful. Ooh. We are definitely going with the um, the swift cards here. That's a really good card. Excellent. And now we're going to put a level two foe here. And we're going to uh, end our turn. We're not going to put anything else yet because we don't want you to start chasing us. Hello, Mixmaster. Oh. I think it's just time to use this one. There we go. And we can't really do anything against that, so we might as well use this card to stop you from stealing it. Well, that's not the worst card for you to steal. Hmm. Uh, that one seems pretty good. That one seems very good, in fact. There we go. We only need two points of damage. Or we need just this. There we go. The uh, Swift Guard works brilliantly here. All right, that's not good. That is really good, but we lose Swift 3 and Holy 2. However, yeah, it's a good weapon. So we'll take it, and then you're going to come over here. Are we just going to be throwing bits of rock at people? Well, as long as it works, I suppose that's good. Discarding? No thanks, we're going to draw more cards to counter. Our Rekindle's not the worst card to lose, though. And no, you are not going to be stealing our cards, because we have that card. Time to just deal loads of damage to you, I think. Admittedly, I didn't want you to steal that card, but it doesn't matter, because we won anyway. Brilliant! An offhand weapon? Ooh, that's quite good. That's also quite good. That's not that good. So we could take this. Armor 4. Block all and... You know what? Yes, we'll take that. We will take that. What we want to do now is we definitely want to fight uh, not you. We'll do this and we will do that. It may not... Oh, actually, you're stationary. You're both stationary, so you're not going to uh, chase us down, which is quite nice. Hello, Mixmaster number... I, is it three or four? You are not going to freeze us because we can deal with you. Either way, we can only block one damage, so we might as well just deal damage back. You have less health than us, after all. Do we want you to, um, we just want to deal damage here. Two damage, and 
Yep, you stole that, but that doesn't matter because we have won. Range of a victory here. What do we have? Ooh, we have that, but that's already the same one that we have. That's no good, that's no good, and that's kind of terrible. So we'll just take some gold. And one favor. All right, we could fight another mix master here, and that's actually a really good idea. And then we could put that there. Slow and steady wins this encounter. We have not yet found an offhand item at all. Ooh. Hello, Brace. You're just a really good card. You're just a really good card. One of the best cards, I think. You can get it quite early. Hmm. Can't really block that, so we might as well just draw a card to counter. Brilliant. Hmm. We can block that, though. Camouflage is just a really good card. And there we go. Three points of damage to your one. That was a card I think you stole. And we've pretty much just won here. There we go. What do we have here? Aha! That is an offhand item. But unfortunately it's not a good offhand item. But it does mean that we could take other cards that would allow us to... Um, that wouldn't have as much armor. There we go. One of them has been placed. We could fight a monk defender here. Hmm, do we want to? Hmm. Do we want to? We want to try, if nothing else. The worst thing that will happen is that we'll fail horribly. All right. Hello, monk defender. You have a lot of health. And you have cards that aren't very good. Which is good. Deck is rather big, though. I think it's just time to use this one and uh, try and get further into this deck. We don't have any healing, which is really bad. If successful, it freezes. We don't have a way to stop it. At all. Hmm. Might as well just heal a little, then. And what do you have here? Well, that's not too bad, I suppose. One point of damage. We do have a lot of defense cards here. And I think now it's time to use Shield Wall. That's a good card. And now we don't have anything to block that. So we'll just use Flame Arrow here. It does freeze our hand, which is uh, not great. Oh, wow. I forgot that Armed 5 was that devastating. Even with all of that defense, we are just, yeah, dead. Well, Blast. A scream is heard to chill the bones, so lift the earth and lay the stones. A martyr's grave to recompense? But others would have had more sense. Hello, Jaina 8. Slowly we're going through these Jainas. Eventually we'll be in double digits. But for now, we move on with Jaina 8. And hopefully we will do better than Jaina 7. We have one more card to deal with, so hopefully it will go quite well. I expected these encounters to be rather tricky, though, mainly because of the um, the sheer number of um, very dangerous things that can happen. And we don't want to uh, fight this um, opponent yet until we have a lot of armor cards. Armor cards seem key to this um, whole scenario here. You need a lot of armor. So we're going to get a lot of armor. We need armor 4 at the very least. Armor 4 is pretty critical. I mean, the Ice Cream Monks here aren't that deadly. I suppose we could discard one of the uh, one damage cards here. Or one of the healing cards. Actually, the healing card seems like one we want to discard. Hmm. And we'll just draw another card here. We could just draw victory here. Nope, we don't want that one. We want the next card. Which pretty much means that we win. There we go. Brilliant. We need a lot of armor cards, so that's... Not good. That's bad. That's bad. Well, plus one health it is then. The music is very appropriate to how well this is going. We want to fight you. Is that a good fountain? It's never a good fountain, is it? It's never a good fountain. If we put something there like that, we will fight the level one opponent here with the um, combustion fountain, and I'd rather have that happen. This is going to be really bad, because we are losing one health. Oh, we're both losing one health. That's still pretty bad. However, I'm pretty sure we can win regardless. I'd rather fight a level one foe with this than a level two foe. And there we go. One win. 
Still, it was a little bit um, precarious. Not very good. Not very good. I suppose earmuffs might be decent. Unfortunately, we now have to fight you next turn. And that is really bad. But I suppose it's something that's unavoidable. Hello, Jaina8 versus Mixmaster. The number of Mixmasters we have fought is ridiculous. But hey, I'd rather fight them than the uh, monk defenders that are there. We just need to save the armor cards. It seems almost counterintuitive to use to save them for any other time, but um, in that encounter, I just didn't. It's been so long since I've seen an armor, an armed five card. They're just so uncommon. They were, remember the banditos in the very beginning of the um, original Let's Play? Those were nasty. The bandito was like, hey, this character has armed five. And it just pulverized you with that card. But hey, what do we have here? That's not terrible. That loses us way of the scoop. That gives us a few nice cards. We lose plus one health, but we do get some nice magic cards. Actually, we'll take that. We'll take that right now. And you're going to come and try and fight us, which means more loot. Means more loot. Hello. We're really relying on the ice cream monk cards here. Not bad. We'll keep it. We'll keep it. Hmm, what do we want? I think we want to use smite here. Way of the Scoop really doesn't synergize with uh, magic um, cards like this, but we have damage either way. And sometimes we heal as well, which is very nice. If successful, it freezes. Well, we can let it succeed, because there's a high chance we're going to draw at least one point of damage, or three in this instance. There we are. Items. That's good. That's also pretty good. That is also pretty good. Tenacious here might really, really help. Hmm. However, that's an armor card. And that's just a, um, that's just better. I'm just realizing that is just a better item. The balaclava is just better. It's not a weapon, and it uh, goes on the, um, on that slot, which is just really good. We're not going to put any um, connecting pieces there right now, because we don't want to uh, path immediately over there. I think we'll just do this. Yep, you can steal that card. It actually really doesn't make much difference to you, because uh, discarding cards really doesn't happen for you, because you don't have a selection to choose. Oh. Hmm. Well, we'll just use this for now, I think. Yeah, we get to draw a card. That's pretty much it. And then we kill you with the uh, shift card here. There we are. What do we get? It's okay. That's just worse. These are all just really bad. Armor what? Actually, that is that is better. That is better. All right, we planted one, and there's really I actually want more items right now. I want an armor card before I even think about going against the monk defender. So we're going to fight some uh, some uh, mix masters here. The mix masters are certainly going to hopefully get us some nice stuff. We need some armor cards before I even try and fight them again. Um, yeah, we'll keep that. We'll keep that. They do have some magic damage. I suppose we'll just heal here, though. That's just a really good card, though. The artisanal attack. That's just really good. And... Hmm, it's worth using armor one here just to uh, block that. And it's worth using this just to uh, deal a lot of damage and block the freeze ability. And two more damage. Way of the scoop is good, but we really need to get rid of it soon. We do need healing as well. Healing is also really good. Okay, what have we got? Armor? Really not. Uh, ooh, Fate Cursed. Minus two health if you have no... Um, that's actually not bad. That's actually not bad at all. We're not going to be using that Fate anyway, so yeah, that's, that's okay. It's alright, I suppose. Level three opponent? Uh, level three opponent. Monk, Frost, and Aggressive. You know what? If there's any time to fight this opponent, it's now. Maybe we'll get some nice items like the Doom Plate. The Doom Plate would be nice. 
Hello. Uh, we don't want you to steal anything. No, thank you. Not today. All right, you're not insistent on stealing stuff, which is nice. The Fate Cursed ability is just nasty, so we want to hold on to that one Fate card that we definitely have. The counter card is really good. Really good. Unfortunately, we can't really do anything here, so we'll... Actually, we could have just won there, because of the plus one damage from Way of the Scoop. Oops. Oh well! We won anyway. We had way too much health there. Okay, armor. Ooh, that's really good. Plus two armor right there. That's just really good. Yep, and we still keep Way of the Scoop, which is really good. Hello! You have come to fight me, and unfortunately we've lost an item that possibly could have helped me here, but it, but we didn't need it. Not yet, anyway. The armor cards are just really... Yes, we'll keep that. You have frost cards, though. That's kind of a problem. Okay, uh, freeze our hand. That's fine. We'll counter that with uh, frozen yoga here. What do you have? Ooh. Well, two for two. Not bad. We can definitely block some of the... Uh, we need the spiky trait. That's what we need. Or we just need to uh, slowly deal a lot of damage. Like this. Ooh. Nasty. Brace card, however, works quite well here. One card. Excellent. And you're just going to heal, which is fine. We can counter that healing with the two scoops card. There we go. What do you have now? If successful, it won't be successful, though. Here comes the card draw. And I like the card draw. The card draw is always nice. What do we want to do here? I just think a scoop card will work quite well. One damage for two dealt back. Ah. If successful, no. I think I can happily get rid of a, uh, a single damage scoop card here to block that ability. That ability is horrible. We want here. I think frozen yoga works quite well. Heal two. And now he shuffled everything back. And now he's just going to uh we can counter that though. This is a pretty long fight. A pretty long fight indeed. Ah, he's just gonna deal a lot of damage now. We can deal more damage though. He deals two, we deal three, but we are very low now. We want to stop that. And we can discard a uh, another single damage card, but we are really low on cards that deal damage right now. But we can now use this to draw another one. What do we want? That's actually a nice card. That's a really nice card. Hmm. That deals two damage for his one. We actually want to do that. There we go. We just need to deal two points of damage now, and that is two points of damage. It was a very slow fight. But we managed it. Just. What do we get? Uh, gain, crush, lose, fate, cursed. You know what, that's actually a pretty good deal. We lose a lot by doing that. We gain a lot by doing that, but lose way of the scoop. Hmm. That is actually the best item, because we lose a really bad ability and gain an extra card. And now we have to make our way over here. This could be a bad idea, putting a, um... Keeper of the Cones here, but we have to start making our way upwards and eventually fight that guy. There we are. One card. It's a pretty good card. It's not a bad card at all. Unfortunately, we can't really do anything to block that two damage, which is unfortunate. We never would have been able to block it though, which is not so bad. There we go. Bash is already proving to be very versatile here. And that's terrible. So we're just going to discard that one scoop damage card. Goodbye. We have much better cards in our hand. Ooh, thank you, Brace. Your appearance was very timely. Very timely. And we can't really block that, so we will just deal lots of damage. If in doubt, deal loads of damage. What do we get? Oh, that's terrible. Fortunately, we get to deal at least one point of damage in return, but still, that's really not good. We're going to use this opportunity to heal ourselves. Your heal is better, but we do have cards that will counter your cards. Do I want to use... No, actually, I want to deal more damage. You deal one, and I deal two. And that deals two for your one. We are very close to dying here. I'm 
just realizing we are very close to... Ooh. Grace, your appearance? Wonderful. We're in serious trouble, though, if he draws the... Yes. We're in serious trouble if he draws that. In fact, we are just pretty much doomed. Oh, dear. Alas, this one is proving to be tricky. But we'll win someday. Once again they tried in vain to overcome and not be slain, but overrun and very scared. Our heroes fell in battle. <laughs> we'll try again with the ranger in a little bit, but that is for next time. Are you feeling any better, Gil Pirate? Well, a little. A little, if anything, the cold, frigid air froze my tears so that they couldn't really be shed so much as fall and shatter on the ground. I'm still sad, though, matey. The Dungeoneers, they just reminded me about how pointless all that we're doing is. In the end, will we ever be remembered, matey? Will people look back on the Guild of Dungeoneering and go, They were a fine lot, those. Yar. No, they'll likely go. They were forgettable. <laughs> Just like I am. You're not forgettable, Gil Pirate. Trust me, you always remind me of your presence. I know, but I'll be alright, though. Don't worry about me. Yar. And when we come back, folks, we shall try again at this um, level that is proving to be very problematic. Court of the Grand Taster. I get the feeling that uh, the Grand Taster there is that person who's blind, but uh, maybe he's just blindfolded because, you know, if he saw what they were, he'd know what they were meant to taste like. Who knows? Maybe it's both. I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.